Okay, in this video we're going to look at the standard form of an exponential function. And the standard form of an exponential function is written like this. y equals a times b to the power of t. Or sometimes y equals a times b to the power of x. And a is what's called the initial value of the exponential function. And b is something that's called either the growth or decay factor. And now the other parts of this standard form of an exponential function, the dependent variable, the dependent variable or sometimes called the output variable is y. And the independent variable or sometimes called the input the independent variable, sometimes called the input, is called t or x. The reason the independent variable is often written as t is just because in an exponential function, very often the independent variable is time, and so it's just written using a t instead of an x, but it's still the same function. Okay, so there's this thing called the growth or decay factor, and we're going to talk about that now. The growth or decay factor is related to something called the growth or decay rate. And those things are related, but they're not exactly the same. If b, if this value here, b, if it's greater than 1, then b is called a growth factor. And that's going to be the situation if you have an exponential function that represents something that is growing, something that's getting larger. All right, and if b is a growth, so if b is greater than 1, then b is a growth factor. If b is less than 1, then b is called a decay factor. And that just means that whatever your exponential function represents, your value is getting smaller. And if you have a b value that's greater than 1, that is you have a growth factor, then there is this equation which looks like this. b is equal to 1 plus r, where r is called the growth rate. Notice the growth rate is related to the growth factor by this little equation here. The two things are not the same, but they are related. Well, if b is less than 1, that is, if b is a decay factor, well, there's also a relationship. We have a little equation that express, expresses the relationship, and it's b equals 1 minus r. And in this case, we have a decay factor. R is called the decay rate. And to calculate the growth or decay factor, the rate must be expressed as a decimal. And we're going to take a look at a few examples where we use these uh, relationships here between the growth factor and the growth rate, or the decay factor and the decay rate. For now, just be aware that there is a difference between a growth or decay factor and a growth or decay rate. Those are two different things.